Hi guys, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel Lila Web Dev. In this video, we will try to see step by step guide for using the form builder service to create the form controls in Angular 18. So I will try to use the same example profile editor component and I will try to show you how to use the form builder to generate the controls and validations and display the form status also. So first of all, so you need to create the form profile editor component and we need to configure it in a standalone component. So this, this allows us to inject dependencies and manage our form setup. So fine. So now here we have imported our react to forms module. So that is fine. So here what we need to do it is the first step what we need to do it is. So here we need to inject the form builder service using the angler's injection function. So here I will be injecting the private or anything any variable whichever you want you can use it form builder is equal to inject of form builder service. So that should be something like form builder that's it. So we have injected the form builder service. Now step two what we need to do it is the use the form builder to create the form structure. So here how you need to do it is so here you should not create something like this. So here we need to do this dot this dot form builder dot group. So we are creating a group right we need to use the group here and in this one. So first name. So it should be something like an array. Okay. So array. The first one will be a, 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 a first one will be like this and the second one we will be using the validators. So here I will be writing the validators also. So for writing the validations I will try to use the validators method and dot required. So we will be using the dot required. So I will try to show you about these validators custom validators and all those things in our upcoming videos. First let's try to understand and the last name which I want to try to explain you is so here I can add it like this and here. So again we are having a form form group right so again you can use this dot form builder dot group you can also use it something like this and here also so what you need to do so this is also an empty of array so in the same scenario you can use it for every city and everyone you can use it like this so this is how you will be creating the form builder group so now we have created the form build form group using the form builder so now the step two is using the form builder to generate the controls. So here the form builder service simplifies the form control creation using three main methods. First one is the control creates an individual control. Next one is the group. Okay. So creates a form form builder dot control. So individual control you can create it in our previous things which we have did. And we have, now we have used the group and this one creates an uh, sorry the, uh, creates a form group a set of controls treated as one group. And also array also will be there so which we will try to learn about that form array also creates a form array a set of controls in an array format. So here we are in this example we are trying to use the group to create both the main form and also nested address group also. Each control first name last name uh, what I went release the street etc these all the things can be initialized with an array. The first uh, whatever the first item in this array is the default value and then the second value second uh, where second one is the validator. So fine. So now here in this one, the first name if you try to see the first name is required and the last name has no validators and the nested group for this is the nested group for the address. So now we need to display this one. So this way display this one means so the same thing. So how you have used the form and all those things in the same scenario you will be using form group profile form. So this this is all one and the same only. So there is there is no change in this one. So directly you can use it. So now if you try to check the output for this one. So let's try to refresh. So we have used this uh, update value and update profile and all those things right. So if you click on submit see you are able to get the same output and if you try to click on the ng submit. So let's try to uh, ng submit and here if you try to see get the on submit okay uh, on submit and here I will use the update values. So we'll use update values and here this one is an submit button. So I will use the submit button so that the form will be submitted and here I will pass the dollar event so that you can able to get it. Now if you try to see the output so here I am updating the values so all the values will be updated and now if you want to check the values that we are able to get it or not means so what you can do it is you can click on the submit. See here the first time and everything whatever the values it is there we are able to get it but this time what we have to do so we have achieved this entire thing through the form builder. So this is how we will be using the form builder in the angular 18. So now adding the validation. So adding validation 
to controls involves using validators class for this example the first name control is required so here the first name control is required right so now for example let's say that uh, here so here we are using the submit button so if you want to have something like this means so you can also disable this form so disable is equal to not of profile form dot valid if it is not valid means then it will be disabled if you try to see the output for this one sorry i have used it for this update value sorry i need to use it for the submit so now here this one is disabled okay if you try to see this one is disabled so now here what which one is disabled so we need we don't know right so i am writing all these things these are all this still it is showing disabled if i try to write it here then the button is coming back so i want to show something like a message for this one so how can i show that message so here in the html template you can display an error message if the first name is invalid for example if it is empty so for this one what you can do it is so here you can create a do value okay and here you can write something like first name is required so how can i how can i use this one so directly it is showing first name is required so now here so you can use the ng if or otherwise you can use the direct at the rate if also at the rate if and here you can say that profile form dot so we need to get the form value so which form value first name so first name means nothing but form control name first name dot invalid if it is invalid then i need to show it okay so i can write it something like this so now if you try to see here the first time so it is invalid so I, so if i try to rewrite it so it is going away but for the first time also it is trying to show it so i want to write in a such a way that so when the user tries to go without writing into the second one means then i need to show it so then what i can do here ampersand ampersand profile form dot sorry dot get of first name dot touched if it is touched okay so now if it is touched sorry if it is touched that's it right so here you can have question mark like this yeah so now if you try to see here first time it is not showing so when i touched this one so this one will become as a touch so if i go to the second one see it is showing first name is required if i try to enter something it will go away so like this you can display the validations in the angular engine so this is also profile form dot get a first name invalid and also if it is touched means then only we will be showing the first name is required so now so now what i can do here also in the submit also what i can do it is so if the user somehow so the people want to submit means you here you can write in a such a way that if this dot profile form dot valid if it is valid means then only we will be showing the values so this is also condition which you can write it so now here the complete thing if you try to see it here so for example let's say that else you can write it in such a way that console.log form is not valid so this is the thing i am writing it now you go to the console somehow i am trying to disable i am trying to remove this disable thing okay so some so some people has tried it like this now if i try to submit the form it will tell that form is not valid why because so the first name is required right so that's why it went into the else part so now if you try to add all the values so like this or otherwise update values and if i click on the submit see now you are able to get the things so this is how we will be displaying the values these all the things so hope you understood about this form builder and also the uh, validations of this one so with all this code uh, combined so this example what we had it we have set up the form using a form builder and we have added the form validations to the form first form, form first name control and we have displayed the form status and error message also and we have submitted the form only if it is valid so this thing so now expected behavior what we got it so the first name field must be filled for the form to be valid the submit button is disabled until the first name is filled upon successful submission the form data is logged into the console This approach makes us efficiently handle the form creation and validation using the Angular React to forms with the form builder, making the code base cleaner and easier to manage for the complex form. So, hope you understood about this concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.